Yo, have you ever kept a ghost shrimp before? Are you thinking about getting a ghost shrimp? There's some things that you need to know about ghost shrimp. From my personal experience, there's a few things that has happened to me while keeping these guys that I think I should explain to a few people on YouTube. Now, ghost shrimp, they're very easy to care for if you decide to keep them as pets. Ghost shrimp are scavengers for the most part, and they will feed off of allergy and pretty much any type of food that you can throw in there. They'll eat blood worms, they'll eat pieces of flakes, they'll eat other small shrimp. They will eat anything that they can get their hands on, whatever can fit in their mouths. Ghost shrimp are also sold as feeders to bigger fish such as angelfish, oscars, any fish that has a mouth big enough to eat these guys, they are going to go for it because these guys are apparently delicious to these fish. They have a decent amount of protein for these fish. If you want more nutrition for your fish, I suggest getting frozen mysa shrimp rather than the live ghost shrimp. Although I mentioned that they are scavengers, something happened to me while keeping these guys while I was breeding my angelfish back in the day. Now angelfish, when they are in their fry stage, they are very small and they are very vulnerable. Also not to mention that angelfish are very slow moving fish, especially when they are small. And when they are small, they're not always aware of their surroundings. Also at night, when the lights are off, ghost shrimp are active while the angelfish are not and they stand still while they sleep which led me to believe this is how my ghost shrimp was able to start eating on my baby angelfish you might be thinking well the angelfish was probably already dead well looking at this clip here I can see that the colors is still pretty vibrant on my angelfish which means that this angelfish was not dead for that long it looks like the angelfish was killed in a matter of minutes or seconds it doesn't look like the baby angelfish was dead for a long time otherwise if it was the colors would be a little faded the eyeballs would be missing because anytime a scavenger gets at a dead fish the first thing that they want to go for is the eyeballs if the fish is still alive they will probably go for the stomach or for the neck or whatever is the most vulnerable spot of the fish to kill them quickly so that way they can start eating the fish without having the worry of the fish trying to struggle or just get away. This happened to me more than once. This wasn't the first time that a ghost shrimp had went after one of my fish and killed my fish. In this clip here, you can see that the eyeballs on this angelfish look like it has been struck with fear. And if you look at the stomach of this baby angelfish, you'll see that it's orange. That means it was recently feeding on baby brine shrimp and that ghost shrimp killed it and started eating it. So this is my experience with ghost shrimp. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out, guys.